Irish McCalla was a pinup model and actress who remains best known for her titular performance on the 1950s television series Sheena, Queen of the Jungle. Irish's exceptional height made her a great choice to portray the Golden Age comic book character on TV, and it also made her stand out as a pinup model. Though Irish passed away in the early 2000s, the beauty of the model at her prime still stands the test of time. Join Facts First as we explore why Irish McCalla was the queen of curves. Irish McCalla's Early Life Irish McCalla was born in Pawnee City, Nebraska on Christmas Day, 1928. During her days as a pinup model, Irish would go on to pose in a notable photo shoot with a Christmas theming that was meant to pay homage to the day of her birth. However, she still had a lot of growing up to do before then. Irish was the child of a butcher, and she had seven brothers and sisters. During her youth, her family moved several times after her father began working for a national meat distributor. First, they moved to Iowa, living in Des Moines. Around that time, she was 10. A few years later, they moved back to Nebraska. However, this time they lived in Omaha. After several years in Omaha, her family moved back to Pawnee City. By the time she finished high school in the early 40s, several of her older siblings had moved to California. With vague dreams of becoming a star, Irish decided to join them. She was 17 when she moved to Southern California. She found her first job working at an aircraft assembly factory where she made only 80 cents per day. She enjoyed California, and it didn't take her long to wander into the entertainment industry by chance. She spent plenty of time at the beach, which is where a photographer spotted her. The photographer gave her her first modeling gig, which was posing as Miss Navy Day. The gig gave Irish the opportunity to pose alongside Santa Monica's mayor at a big ceremony. Following this, she ventured into the world of pinup modeling. She began gaining fame as a pinup in the early 50s, and this is also when she married her first husband. This was Patrick McIntyre, who worked as an insurance salesman. They married in 1951 and divorced in 57, having two children in between. How Irish McCalla Got the Role of Sheena Irish McCalla wanted to be more than a pinup model, and she ended up getting her chance when she was cast as the Golden Age comic book character Sheena, Queen of the Jungle, in the 1950s TV series. There's an urban legend that suggests Irish got the job of playing Sheena when she was spotted tossing a spear around on the beach. While Irish's first modeling gig came as a result of a beach spotting, the star wasn't actually the first choice to play the character of Sheena. Instead, the actress producers originally wanted was Anita Ekberg. Sheena, Queen of the Jungle, is a comic book character co-created by Golden Age artist Will Eisner. The character made her first appearance in comics in the late 30s, so she had already been around in the popular sphere for over a decade before the 50s TV series came around. The series ran only for a couple of years and aired in first-run syndication, meaning it didn't play on any particular network. Instead, the series was available to be picked up for a fee by any local network who wanted to air it. This made the show popular in many different areas around the world, as different countries could pick up the program and air it for a relatively reasonable price. Sadly, playing the character of Sheena didn't prove a big break for Irish in terms of future success. But the star's work on the show certainly made her an icon. Her portrayal of the character remains the most iconic portrayal of Sheena, with a few other actresses having gone on to portray the character over the years. Before we tell you more, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Sheena remained popular in syndication. Although Sheena, Queen of the Jungle, didn't stay in production very long, the 1950s TV series continued to grow in popularity via syndication. Though Irish had a hard time finding continued success in the industry, she remained a cult hero at conventions until her dying days. She might have been typecast in the role of Sheena following the short-lived series, but she retained no ill will about it in her later years. She was simply proud of the fact that she had made any impression on the public. 26 episodes of the show were made, and these episodes continued to air for many years. In 1984, Tanya Roberts portrayed the character in a film of the same name. The film failed to make an impression on audiences, and people generally still consider Irish McCalla to be the true Sheena on the screen. The property was once again revived at the turn of the century. This time, the character of Sheena returned to the small screen in another first-time syndication series. The 2000 series featured former Price is Right model Gina Lee Nolan as the titular character. Despite running for two seasons, it wasn't much more impactful than the 1984 film. Irish McCallot was the perfect fit to play Sheena for numerous reasons. For one thing, she was beautiful. For another thing, she was exceptionally tall, at 5'10". 
which made her a good deal taller than other women in the industry. Irish's physicality and charm are just a couple of the reasons why she retains her legacy as the ideal Sheena. Irish did her own stunts until she messed up. Irish McCalla was always fairly athletic, and she started out on Sheena, Queen of the Jungle, doing many of her own stunts. During early episodes, Irish could be seen swinging on vines and climbing trees as Sheena without the use of any stunt doubles. Part of the reason this was done was because it was hard to find female stunt doubles who were the same height. Thankfully, her athleticism made the choice feasible. Sadly, Irish's time doing her own stunts came to an end before the series did, as she had an accident one day during filming. In order to work around the difficulty of finding female stunt doubles that were Irish's height, the producers then made the decision to simply hire male stunt doubles and try their best to trick the audience. After the show ended, Irish continued performing in the entertainment industry to little avail until retiring from acting in the early 60s. Between her time as Sheena and her retirement, she could be seen on such shows as Have Gun Will Travel and Route 66. She also appeared in a number of B-movies, all of which featured titles such as She Demons and Five Gates to Hell. It didn't take long for Irish to get sick of the low caliber of the roles she was being offered, and she decided to dedicate her time to something she felt was more rewarding. Irish's Later Life and 2002 Death After divorcing her first husband in 1957, Irish McCalla married second husband Patrick Horgan the following year. He was an English actor, and the two were married for a little over a decade before divorcing in 1969. In the 70s, Irish underwent a fight with cancer that lasted a significant part of the decade. Though she was eventually successful, the cancer did continue to come back until her death in the early 2000s. Irish married for a third and final time in the 80s, but the marriage didn't last past the decade. Her third husband was a salesman named Chuck Rowland. The two married in 1982 and divorced in 1989. Irish then remained unmarried for the final decade of her life. After leaving the entertainment industry behind, Irish dedicated her time to painting. She had been an avid artist throughout the majority of her life, having begun painting during her childhood. The Sheena star found some success as a painter, with numerous pieces featured in museums throughout the world. She passed away in 2002 as a result of a stroke, which was said to have happened as a result of her fourth brain tumor. She was living in a nursing home at the time. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite memory of Irish McCalla? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.